Hey guys, Caleb with Black Pearl Media here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about why my Jeep Wrangler is the best fun per dollar vehicle I think I've ever had. And I'm gonna be giving you five reasons why I think you should own one too. So if you guys are new here, my name's Caleb and about a year and a half ago, I bought that Jeep right there to have some fun with and I wanted to maximize the fun for the minimal amount of dollar. New vehicle for the channel. This is a 1991 Jeep YJ. Oh, whoa, Jesus, marsh me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Here, hey Jeep Wayne. Woo! Yo, you gotta hit these things quick. I had a bunch of vehicles in mind, but the one that fit the budget the best was the Jeep Wrangler. Now, reason number one why I think you should get it is budget, because that's what we're mainly talking about here. I picked up this Jeep for about $1,700, and it needed a bunch of work, but parts are very inexpensive, and it came pre-modified with a lot of very quality modifications. It was just body work and structural things that needed to be taken care of. Now, that is a very hefty repair, and I totally get that. I was comfortable doing it with Nick, who you saw on the channel, we patched the frame, we patched the floor, we had a bunch of good times doing it, and it was also a big learning experience for me, doing a little bit of welding, sealing, coating, all that stuff just to make it safe. So if you guys are willing to do some work, this is a really good option for you. And to be honest, in this market, there's not a lot of options underneath that, you know, $2,000 range that's not gonna need some amount of serious work to it. Now, I'm not saying there's diamonds in the rough. There's always exceptions. You can always find a deal, but you know what? For most of the time, you really have to search for those deals. And in the meantime, there's a bunch of rusty Jeeps out there that could use a good home and some refurbishing. Now that kind of segues into my next part, which is parts. Parts are everywhere, from used parts to new parts, and they're very inexpensive. We did a full clutch master and slave cylinder for I think $134 on this Jeep, and it drives smooth as butter. Speaking of drivetrain, let's talk about reason number three why I think you should get a Jeep YJ, and that is for their engine and transmission configurations, mainly the engine. Now, I don't know much about the four cylinder, but I know a lot about the six cylinder, which is an inline six, 4.0 and it is chef's kiss. It is such a reliable engine. This is my second one. They've both been fuel injected. This being a 1991, it is the first model with the fuel injection. Before that it was carbureted and they even gave you a 4.2 for a while there, which was also reliable to my understanding and was pretty powerful. I've also heard good things about the inline four. I'm just not super knowledgeable about them, reliability, so I can't quite speak on that. If anybody else has experience with the four cylinder, drop it in the comments and let's talk about it. Now, after we did all this work, it was safely drivable and we were able to go to some events and just drive it around and it is one of my most favorite vehicles to drive around ever because it's a turnkey vehicle and I can take all the doors off and you're in the open air just having a blast. So that is reason number four, which is driving experience is, is, is very unique. There's really no other explaining this other than getting in there and driving it for yourself with all the doors off, with the roof off, the sun's beating down, you got the radio cranked up, you're just having a great time and it's a, it's, it's incredible. You guys need to go check it out. If you have somebody who has a, a Jeep, you should see if you can get a ride along. Maybe you can test drive it. I don't know, but you guys, trust me, this is one of the best driving experiences I've ever had. Also, you look really good while you're doing it too. I cannot get over the styling of the YJ. I love the square headlights. I love the stance that it has with the 35s. And the Jeep is just a classic chassis and platform that millions of people have enjoyed. So why don't you enjoy one too? It's a lot of fun. That brings me to number five, which is the community. 
A lot of people have experienced Jeeps and a lot of people have owned Jeeps even if they don't currently own them and it's almost like a, a club, an exclusive club. You can talk Jeeps all day with either a current or previous owner. They love Jeeps. Chances are they're passionate about them. If they don't have one right now, they're probably planning on getting one in the future. That's just the fact. They're so much fun. Whenever people are done with them, they're ready to buy another one. And FYI, I bought a Jeep Wrangler LJ, and that was like, I think a 2006 or something, and I loved it. And I was, I, the whole purpose of buying that one was to flip it. I kept it for way too long. I actually registered it, paid taxes, didn't make a dime on the sale, but I had so much fun driving it around, I didn't care, and I was ready to get back into another Jeep. But the community is vast, they're very friendly, and you can get a, a simple wave, and some people even like to put ducks on your Jeep. I don't really quite understand that one, but people seem to enjoy it. You know, sometimes I come out from the store and there's a Jeep uh, duck, a duck on my Jeep. Can't talk. But it's a really fun and rewarding community. If you have any questions, somebody has an answer. They've experienced exactly what you've experienced. They have a hack, they have a cheat code, they have 3D printed options for fixing problems that you, you come across and it's nothing new. This is a community that truly has your back. So let me know what you guys think of the Jeep Wrangler and that platform. Do you think that that's a good option for dollar per fun? or do you think there's something that might better fit the mold? Go ahead and drop it in the comments below, and while you're down there, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you on the next one.